Nick's newest show has a ton of fun characters, starting with our main man, the ultimately awesome Nate Wright. Let's do this! <laughs> At least that's what he'll tell you. Truth is, he has his doubts, but he's not about to let the rest of the world know that. Nate Wright has been preparing for this moment his entire life. Raised since birth to survive the cold. Nate grew to thrive in freezing temperatures. Training himself each and every day to be impervious to cold. Ah, training paid off. No brain freeze. Hey, how you guys doing? Next up is Dee Dee, who craves excitement almost as much as she craves drama. Come one, come all! See it for your own eyes! Be amazed by Nate Wright's freaky deaky lucky pimple! A lucky pimple? I was once a skeptic like you, but it's the real deal, my friend. Francis is Nate's voice of reason, the one who tries to keep Nate's wild ideas in check. Or at least keep Nate out of unnecessary trouble. Friend emergency! Nate, is it true? A lot of ways I can answer that, Francis. All of them awesome. Did you get detention again? Oh, yeah, but look, That's it's... your fourth detention this week. One more, and you'll be... Gunted. Gunted? No! No! Teddy is Nate's main co-conspirator, a partner in chaos always willing to go along with Nate's crazy schemes. You're all gonna help me write five novels. Yes! What? Bro, you know I would do anything for you. Not really, but why are we getting roped into your problem? <laughs> 300 bags of cheesy snacks, enough rope for you? Yep, that'll work. Chad is always down to help with one of Nate's schemes. Unfortunately, for him, they sometimes go a little sideways. Come on, stupid bag. <laughs> Got it! Oh, wait, am I in the... <gasps> Ellen is always willing to help out her little brother, although sometimes there's a catch. Why are you being so weird? Oh, no, it's not weird for a brother to be nice to his genius sister, is it? Okay, I can't. Look, I have too much integrity to be nice to you. I got in some trouble with Dad's credit card, and I need advice. Oh, I love seeing you so desperate. If I help you, you have to agree to be my indentured servant for the next six months. Six months? Martin is an awesome dad, mostly because he's a big kid at heart. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to use a strange restroom. You might be badly chipped, but it is never too late to get help. We will go to a public restroom. Oh, 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 or I could just pee in the yard like a real man. No toilet snakes there. Good thing I have my trusty toilet snake bell, just in case. Mrs. Godfrey is always at war. And Nate is her chief enemy. I mean, don't get me wrong. Most teachers are great. They work hard, don't get paid enough, cry in their cars. They're basically heroes. Godfrey, though. Godfrey is the devil. No, 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 wait, not the devil. Chockzilla. Ours is a battle eternal. Who will win? Undecided. But I promise you this. I will not fail! My school, nay, the world, needs a right! Detention! <laughs> Principal Nichols is a glass half full kind of guy. Unfortunately, the glass usually has a hole in it. Nate Wright, <gasps> come here. Uh, yes sir? You're telling me that you won the school art contest with that bowl of fruit? Hi. Uh... Yes? Good job, my boy. There's nothing kids like better than free pizza. <laughs> Look at all those happy faces. 
Well, it's my pleasure to be part of the team, sir. We're not a regular school today. We're a cool school, am I right? <laughs> Give it up uh, on the backhand side. I know, uh, I, I. <laughs> Mr. Galvin is one of the stranger teachers. Some people say he even lives at the school. Behold. Oh, and there it goes. Oh, wow, would you look at that? Precision. Oh, almost missed it. Oh, uh, yes. Oh. And that's one way to water a house plant. Pretty amazing. Right. Gina is one of the smartest kids in school. Unfortunately, she knows it. Well, according to uh, whatever these colorful designs are, <laughs> you're the smartest sixth grader at PS38. Nasso Tom! Did someone call for the smartest sixth grader at PS38? I appreciate the hustle, Gina, but no, I definitely did not call for you. Okay, right outside if you do. Jenny has certainly gotten the attention of Nate. Maybe one day, she'll actually notice him. Hey, don't worry. We'll get through this together. I'm sorry. What's your name again? <laughs> There's a lot to like about Artur. Unfortunately for Nate, he's Jenny's actual boyfriend. Artur. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore his presence for now. PS 38's handsome outsider that everyone thinks is so interesting, even though he isn't. Flower, no! I'm the friend! <laughs> Coach John is a pretty serious guy, but he does have an eye for art. Confiscated, confiscated, confiscated. This is a good haul. I better get this to my office. <laughs> I gotta act quick. Psh, amateur hour. Make way for a professional. Why does the law require gym teachers to carry so many caves? Chicken dinner. Kim really likes Nate, and I mean really likes him. Let's work together forever, my precious. Uh, <laughs> my boo needs a cuddle break. Ooh. I've assigned your partners. <sighs> Me and oh, Kim. My precious boo. And finally, Spitzy is a pretty weird dog. But he must do something special, right? We need you to become the strong leader you were meant to be. <laughs> Is this what you want? I'm begging you to save not just me, but my family. My father is not a strong man. I mean, I've seen quilts more intimidating than him, and I can barely focus long enough to dress myself. We won't make it. Spitzy, please, save us. With liberty and justice for all. Uh, are dogs supposed to cough up air 